The first place prize goes to Rexy Doodle. Rexy! <laughs> what is it, dude? Rexy Bingo! <laughs> <laughs> Hello and good morning everybody! Welcome! Big start to the weekend. Super excited. It's gonna be an amazing day. We have a lot of fun things going on. Number one thing that's going on right now, our new merch is being delivered right now. The UPS guy, Kyle, he's amazing. He's bringing it all up on the porch. This is a new draw. We're also going to be restocking the original tees. We got some fun stuff coming for you guys. We're so excited. We already have next month's drop ready. Lots of cool, amazing stuff going on. Funny enough, we have established a great relationship with Kyle. He's the one that delivers all of our packages via UPS. He's amazing. He came up one day when the kids were selling snow cones and he bought a snow cone from the kids. It was just really sweet for him to take time out of his day, get off his truck, give crew a buck to buy a snow cone. I thought it was really cool. So he's awesome. We're always excited to see Kyle because he brings lots of things for us, but now we need the boys to help us bring this in. Boys, I need your help. Here they come. Yes. We have this princess starting out, bringing it in for us. I Here, stuck it all along this wall right there. Awesome. Hey, you're the best helper ever. So I have to leave with Hazy here in a minute. She is gonna go over with Stephanie. They're gonna have some fun today and then we're gonna meet up later and go to a movie. Should be a lot of fun. She's gonna have a girl's day. Yeah. We're gonna go with Sarah and her girls, Stephanie and her girls. Have some fun. We're gonna go see Peter Rabbit too. These boys are being awesome little helpers though. <laughs> Lift with your legs. Oh! So like I said, we are restocking the OG Bingham logo shirts as well as lanyards. We're just trying to be tough back there. Also, we are coming out with a new drop. So these won't be hitting immediately. I need to get them over to someone and get some pictures taken. And then we'll get them posted on the website, but we will let you guys know ahead of time. Don't worry. Also, Kruby, come here really fast. All right, Kruby. <laughs> wow. Tell us how you're feeling second day with braces. My braces don't hurt at all. Second round, second day. I just ate a ton of Oreos. Braces. Oh, it's feeling fine, everybody. Feeling good? Yep. You're sweating up from carrying all that stuff. Yeah. Everything's feeling good? Feeling fine? Yep. Did you brush this morning? Yep. Wow. We're off to a great start. Actually, I have to give a major, major shout out to this Kirby dude because when I got home from my hike, he had cleaned the kitchen, emptied the dishwasher, totally organized the kitchen desk area. Daisy cleaned her room. I cleaned my whole tire room. You gotta go see it. I did see it and it looks amazing. So they're starting off the day helping in a huge way. I'm super, super grateful for it. Yeah, I'm super hot. Yeah, you are. Okay, let's go do your hair and get you off to Steph's house. Okay. I got Hazy off to her little fun play date today. Got myself cleaned up. I have a meeting to go to actually, so I'm gonna leave it here to be and the kids. Who knows what kind of trouble they're gonna get in. You just never know what's gonna happen when you leave. I've at least now learned that I cannot go out of town by myself because Brian will take the kids to Disneyland. Thankfully, Disneyland doesn't have any tickets available right now, so I know Brian is not gonna go there today, but I have to run out for a couple of hours, go to a church meeting. Today's gonna be a good day. I'm really excited. Weather's nice, really good day. Mom is gone, and she does not know that we have got something insane planned for while she's gone. It is seriously next level. Here's a little hint, you guys. <laughs> Two things. First of all, just kidding. We're not going to Disneyland. We're not going to surprise anybody with a Disneyland trip. But I did hear mom. I overheard her say, you never know what's going to happen when she leaves. She now knows that anything is on the table. Nothing is safe. And so I did want to kind of tease her something big was going to go down. No Disney today. Number two, you may have seen, I just went out and got some supplies for an epic video we we're going to be doing. The plan was to do it today. However, I kind of drove like 40 minutes to go pick up those buttons and they were the wrong kind. That video is coming up hopefully tomorrow. I've ordered them on Amazon for next day delivery. I wanted to do it today. They don't have those buttons in a store anywhere in Utah. So ordered them on Amazon. Something big, something fun, something crazy, rad, and awesome is coming your way hopefully tomorrow. Got the supplies, just waiting on those buttons, and then that will be coming up very soon for you guys. So instead, now we are left with nothing crazy, wild, zany, momless to really pull off here today. So we're trying to think of something that we can do. It'd be a fun idea for this hot, hot, and somewhat boring afternoon. Right now, kids playing on devices. I just got back from going on a supply run. Right guys off at a friend. Mom has left to go to a movie with Hazel. They're going to see Peter Rabbit. So it's just me, crew, and Brex here, and I think we've had enough of devices. It is still a heat advisor, you guys. It's still 97 degrees out there. It is blazing hot. It's been in the hundreds ever since we got back, but I think we can do something fun. It will help us cool down while heating up the excitement around here. And if it gets too hot, we can always come back in and play VR. <laughs> 
So I talked to the kids about possibly going to the pool, something fun like that. But they are going to a birthday party at a pool tomorrow. They didn't want to do back-to-back -back pool days because it would actually be the same pool. But they had the idea, what if we did our own pool? Mana and Papa hooked us up with this bad boy for Easter this year. I totally forgot about it. It's a Members Mark Sam's Club special. It's got like seats in it, big old pool. Kind of looks like, like a hot tub vibe. So this could be a cool way to cool down on a hot summer day. <laughs> anyway. Pool way. way. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Sure, dude. I love those braces, bro. Flex those braces right now. Yay! Love it, dude. You look I so good. Had, yeah. Uh, what have you been eating today? Because you said it didn't hurt that bad. I was very impressed. I can eat more harder stuff, I guess. More normal like, stuff, maybe? I can, like, eat an Oreo. Soggy or? Yeah, soggy Sorry. Oreo. <laughs> soggy Oreos was like his GM last night. He's like, if I leave it in the milk long enough, I don't even have to chew it. <laughs> so, I think this could be pretty fun. We can come up with something fun to do with this. So, let's inflate it, fill it up with water, figure out where we're going to put it, and then we can go out in the heat, but still keep cool in the pool. Good. So hot. <laughs> So the kids have decided to turn this into a little bit of a challenge. They're gonna be doing a little bit of blast to leave the swimming pool challenge in our own front yard, in our driveway. That's a, probably a new one. Because it does have the nice seating in there, little reclining seat you can sit back on, some nice cushions. They're grabbing snacks, drinks. Huh, my snack. Your snack is, uh, is canned cheese? Yeah. Okay, so grabbing some snacks, drinks, things that can tide them over. We've got an entire pizza in there. They take the pizza out there poolside. We're gonna see how long they can last in this pool today. Maybe we'll have like a fun prize for the winner, whoever stays in the longest today. I'm ready. Ms. Brexton's got the pizza, we've got and the and drinks, an and an otter pop. I think we're ready for a full day of fun in the sun in our own driveway. This pool is cool, but it has like no joke, seven different blow up points. I don't even know what this current one is inflating right now. But it has the one main one down here. This is some ring around the edge. It's got an inflating point right here, inflation point, whatever you want to call it, for this back seat. One for the seat you sit on, one there, one back there, another one over here. I think it eventually is going to blow up this rim piece right here. I don't know. I don't know how to get air into this part. I think in the end, it'll be a pretty dope pool. Hit that like button right now if you're looking forward to a ton of fun in the swimming pool videos when we actually have a swimming pool in our backyard what? and don't have to go through this inflation process if we can do so many more crazy fun and wild things. That's something I am very much looking forward to. A lot of great fun and exciting content gonna be coming out of that swimming pool in like a year. All right, guys, the kids keep going inside because they're just so blazing hot, just waiting for that to inflate like our feet are on fire. They're baking in the sun. Gotta let that inflate all the way. Then we need to fill it with water. It takes an additional amount of time. What they don't know, though, is that this entire last to leave the pool challenge is totally fake. I've actually got a prize for them that we've had in storage for months and just been waiting for the right time to give it to them. And I wanted to do it today with our other video that we had planned, but some of those things kind of fell through. So I think this could be a fun way to surprise them while they think that they're competing in a last to leave the swimming pool challenge. Picked up the GoPro after shooting that time lapse and it it is on fire. It's too hot to even hold. But I do now have it fully inflated after filling up all six, seven, eight, nine little blow holes. It is now time to fill it with water. That is the next item of business to get this thing swim ready and last to leave the pool challenge ready. You got it, Rexy? Hey, Brexton, this bathing suit matches your braces. <laughs> hey right, guys, in a minute, this will be ready to get in or are you start now with no water. No, wait, just wait. Let's get sunscreen. Hey, the good news, guys, about how hot it is, this came out of the fridge. You don't even have to microwave it. It'll reheat itself sitting in the sun. Got a delivery for Bingham. We have a delivery for Bingham. Is yes, that you? Just set it right there. There you go. There you go. Didn't get you out of that pool, could I? Guys, kids did not want to wait any longer to get in the water, and so they decided to start the challenge now before the water even is really a quarter of the way full. The challenge has begun. They're in the water, and they cannot leave this pool unless they want to lose today's epic prize that nobody even knows what it is yet. You guys don't even know what the prize is, do you? Brexit, do you know what the prize is? No. No clue. They're fighting for a prize that they don't even know what it is, but all they want is the bragging rights and the victory of leaving the pool last. Plus, when you get out, it's really, really hot. <laughs> It is honestly too hot for me out there unless I get in, which I might. It's kind of tempting, honestly. It's a pretty big pool. I think I could fit in there with the kids. Too hot for me to hang out there too much. So I'll jump back and forth just to get some video, make them feel like the challenge is continuing to move on. But I wanted to show you what the real prize is today. And since they can't come back in the house, they're stuck outside, I can actually bring them out here in the front room. But you guys, we got these Ninebot scooters on an insane steal. Clear back in winter, you guys. This was just after Christmas on some crazy wild blowout, closeout, post-Christmas unload inventory sale. It was essentially a buy one, get one free. They were like both half off, but it made 
made it so that we got one for free. We picked these up forever ago and we thought, you know what, we'll just find a reason to give them to the kids, maybe for a birthday gift or some kind of a fun kickoff to summer. Anyways, time went on, they were being stored at Mindy's parents' house and we completely forgot. They just sat over there at their house and they've since been riding their scooters everywhere. They're going over to friends' houses. It's summer now so they're just much more outside and active and need transportation. And it dawned on us, we still have these scooters to give them. We were gonna do it as a first day of braces gift for crew but then didn't really know how to leave only Brexton out because Ryga got one of these for Christmas. He's got one. They're a little bit too advanced for Hazy so she doesn't need one. So the idea was the video we were going to do today that we don't have the right supplies for, I couldn't get the right buttons for, the prizes were going to be these. So instead, we're faking the last to leave the pool challenge so that in the end, they're both going to win these. They have no idea, no clue. We're probably thinking they're going to get $10 in credits to the Nintendo eShop or something like that. But these are going to be really good for them. They have some friends who are from school that don't necessarily live in this neighborhood, but it is close enough that they could go on an electric scooter ride down and up a big hill, but not close enough or easy enough to do on like a bike or a scooter. And that way they can just go check in with their friends, see if they can play. If they can, great. They can scoot around. If not, they can just scoot right back up the hill and come back home. So I think they're going to absolutely love these. And you guys know how much we love doing the electrics as a family. I get out on the one wheel. We've got now three. We have a lot of nine bots. So we got a lot of scooters that are fun for family rides, night rides. They've got the LED panels on the bottom that you can customize the colors on. A lot of fun things. So I think the kids are going to be super, super pumped. But right now it's honestly just too hot to ride on them. So we're going to do this pool challenge, get them out of the pool, surprise them with these, and then probably go on a full family ride once mom gets back. Just checking in, seeing how you're doing. Can I get you anything? You need anything? Nice cold drink, otter pop, popsicle, another slice of pizza. I'm good. You guys good? Okay, I'll come back and check on you in a little bit. Love you. Love you. Water's too inviting. It's too hot out here. I'm gonna join. I'm not participating in the challenge, so I can still get out, get you guys pizza, towels, popsicles, otter pops, whatever you need. But while I'm out here, it's just too hot to chill out here without getting in the water, so I'm just gonna join you in here. How much longer do you think we got? <laughs> Ooh, that bee might be what gets Brexit out. That bee might be what gets Brexit out. Nope. Oh, it's right there, it's right there. Don't get it mad at me. Don't get it mad at me. You guys see it? Where you go? You thought you were gonna spray it with water. It's getting mad and sting me in the face. Time to spice this thing up. I think we've been sitting too easy here for a little while. We're gonna throw in a quick challenge. You're going to do the stand on one foot challenge. You can stand on their one foot the longest. First person to drop their foot down cannot get wet above their knees for the next 10 minutes which means you have to stand in this baking sun and cannot cool yourself off if you drop your foot one foot challenge standing on one foot get ready to the middle breaks you can't hold on to the side oh my gosh i see what you're doing and minnie's over there embarrassed to death of me she's back now hi mom mom's back okay on your marks get set one foot go Oh, 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 no touching each other. If someone falls out of the pool, it's over. If you fall out of the pool, it is over. Braxton, Braxton, don't fall out of the pool. Braxton, I see what you're doing. <laughs> you're out, dude. Braxton's out, Braxton's out, that's out. 10 minutes, cannot get yourself wet to cool off. Hazy's coming to join the party. Wait, Hazy, what? <laughs> Hazel Bingham, no, are you getting in with your clothes? Hazel Bingham, you need a swimming suit. Hazy! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Hazel, we're doing a last to leave the swimming pool challenge. Do you want to try and stay in as long as you can? But I need my swimsuit on. Yeah, you kind of do, huh? they're ever gonna get out of the pool. So what do you say we go out there, call it a tie, surprise them with these. Well, that's a great idea. Where did you get these? Mindy, you knew about these. You what? didn't know I was gonna give them to him today, but you knew that they I existed. Did not. <laughs> I feel like we've been out here long enough. It is past dinner time. I don't think anybody's going to leave this pool. What do you think, what would you say if we call it a tie and just give out like equal prizes to everybody? Yeah. Does that sound like an okay deal? Like we just like end it and call yeah. it a tie? Yeah. Mom's got some prizes that we're gonna bring out for you guys. We're gonna give it to the winner, but I feel like you guys are all winners. Literally, like it's kind of the sun's going down. It's time to eat. Should we just call it? Call it good? Last to leave is officially over? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's bring out the prizes. Here, you guys wanna jump out? Let's, let's officially end it. Let's step out. Step out on the count of three so that nobody actually is like the first one. Okay, ready? Back to this edge right here. Here we do, and Brexy one foot over each. Okay, one, two, three, and out. Down, go. 
<laughs> oh shoot, Brexton wins. Just kidding, no, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> we're pretty sick of it. Okay, mom, you got the prizes? Okay. So mom is in here with the prizes. Mom, do you wanna bring them out? Time. So let's do, you guys stay right there, stay right there. Let's do uh first place prize, first place prize. First place prize goes to Brexy Doodle. Okay, Brexy, are you ready? Brexy! <laughs> what is it, dude? Brexy Bingo! <laughs> 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 there it is, bro. Brexy Doodle. Here, come set it down right here. We'll charge him up and we'll build him and everything. Dude, right, Brexy Doodle. Place first. Okay, prize. second place prize was crew. He technically came out second. So, unfortunately, bro, second place prize for you. I'm Stop sorry, it. bro. Here it comes. Second place for my crew we do. <laughs> what the crap? What is going on right now? So, everybody wins. Lastly, the bull. Hazy, me and you will go get a special prize, okay? Love you. Bro. Nine bot. You want a hug? <laughs> I kind of do. Nine bots. Your very own nine bot scooters. You can ride these to Graham and Reese's. You can ride these to your friends' houses. We can go on family rides together. What do you guys think? This is pretty exciting. It's kind of a big deal. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure what that They are is. so crazy. <laughs> They're very simple to build. Let's build them, charge them, and let's go on a ride. You guys want to go on a family ride? <laughs> so we charged mine and mom's. Those are charged up. And I think we can go on a full family ride. Everybody on their own scooter. And if we do a night ride, these ones have the LED boards on the bottom that light up. Yes. So we can do fun lights on the bottom. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so much. You guys are so welcome, you guys. Let's go freaking build them, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you do. You guys just got back from a quick run to the grocery store to get some Father's Day goodies, but more importantly, some soft foods for Kirby Doo. We were trying to decide what to do for dinner tonight before we're going on our epic scooter ride. As the scooters are charging, we gotta eat up, recharge ourselves, and crew couldn't find anything soft enough to eat. So, they hit the store. What did you get, bro? So, I got a ton of Danimals. I got some pudding. got some juices, mac and cheese, just soft things that will help my teeth. Put all the good soft things. Okay, bro, you're set, man. And I bet you tomorrow's gonna be even a little bit better, and then you're out of it, dude. This is gonna be nothing but good times That's ahead. That's what we're hoping for. Animals. But in the meantime, got some good food, some good grub. Secrets I can't see for Father's Day. We did pick these up. Skittles gummies. Skittles gummies? That's soft and delicious. Oh, I'm excited Cheetos. to try those. Mac and cheese he Cheetos. Easy to eat. Those actually are very soft. Those Lunchables are very, very soft pizzas. Got some puddings coming in here. Dude, I love it. I love it. I know. We did great. You guys, these bad boys are fully charged. Gonna jump on these scooters. Crew and Brex breaking out their brand new ones for the first time. Mom and Hayes are gonna ride on Mom's over there. I'm gonna take the one wheel so that I can video a little more easily. When you got the two hands on the scooter handles, I can't really video as well. Got our helmets on for safety. I feel like I need a cooler helmet. Got our smiles on for coolness. This is cool. Happy faces on. Got our happy faces on, but they're about to get a lot happier. We're taking these bad boys out for the very first ride of their lives. <laughs> doing a quick sunset lap around the neighborhood here, going down a few of our favorite tunnels, places we love to ride these things. We love riding on our different electrics that we have, and I am so pumped that the boys can just grab their own now when they wanna go for a ride. We can all head out together, we can go out on their own. They got transportation for the summer. Full send, baby, let's go. Wrapping this day up after a fresh scoot scoot ride. That I was know, fun. that was fun. Kids are so excited. We got there. those a little while ago. A long time ago. <laughs> we literally almost forgot they were at Mindy's mom's house. And we're like, oh my gosh, they needed them for summer. That's when they need them for. I so know. mom left the house, figured it was the perfect time to gift them. You just never know what's going to happen. <laughs> you while never I'm gone. know, you guys. Put up a pool in the front yard, giving out electric scooters. It the gets best crazy part, when mom leaves. I wish I had a camera of what I pulled up to. <laughs> Brandon is just full on sprawled out, just, just living his best guys. life. We were laughing so hard. It was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. It was pretty great. Cruise ending this day his mouth is really hurting him so we did get some soft stuff for him we'll check in on him tomorrow and see how he's doing also just an update because a lot of people were curious we circled that bite on his leg it is completely it's gone. gone it disappeared no redness no bump just nothing like, overnight shot. disappeared good news for that yeah we'll show you guys tomorrow it's like gone 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 i'm gonna wake up super early and do a 5k race with stephanie get to have a pool party tomorrow with their friends we have a potentially epic video going down if all the supplies arrive stick around guys come back love you guys we'll see you tomorrow good night everybody Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> oh, God, I, I can always come back in and play VR.